Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keeping My Life in Order. Today's video, guys, we are doing an outdoor clean with me. focusing primarily on my pool this is like a two segment video because i have to really um shock my pool i have to clean it out it had been raining for a few days and i didn't have the pool cover on it got some bubbles in and as you can see it looks kind of cloudy so i'm gonna show you guys some of the things that i like to do to shock my pool and to get the water back blue and sparkling so let's go ahead and get started with the video The first product I will be using is the Clorox Pool and Spa Shock Extra Blue. I really like this product because after I use it and apply it to my pool, my pool is like really clear. It's nice, you guys. It kills bacteria, algae. It also clears any kind of cloudiness in your pool. So if you guys have pools like mine, you want to go ahead and invest in some of the Clorox Pool and Spa Shock Extra Blue. I really like this product. All right, you guys, sorry for the angle of the camera, but when applying this product, make sure you go by the guidelines depending on how many gallons of water that you need in order to apply shock to your pool. All right, the next step I like to use is to apply these chlorine tablets. You guys, this process is really, really simple, but I want you to remind you to please always use gloves when dealing with chlorine and definitely keep these products away from small children. But simply, these are like three inch tablets. They're pretty, pretty large size tablets. So typically this is gonna last for quite a while, probably for the rest of the summer because it's a nice size tablet size. But all you're gonna do is you're just gonna take this tablet and apply it to your actual um, chlorine tablet dispenser. I got this dispenser from Walmart. I think it was like $8 or something like that. This is a very simple process, but please be mindful to always use gloves or some kind of protective handle. Sometimes people like to use tongues when you're actually dealing with chlorine products. All right, you guys, now that we have added our shock to the pool and also I just put in the chlorine tab dispenser. So I'm gonna let this do, it's probably gonna run for about five hours, but typically by the next day, I'll definitely see a difference in the color of the pool. And also in my outdoor clean with me video, this which is gonna be a second part of this video, you will actually see me clean this ring around the pool. My pool is not level like it should, but hey, you know, we really, really still are enjoying it. This is a 14 foot by four inch deep pool. Um, this is a best way pool. I got it from Walmart. If if you're interested, please check them out online. All right, you guys, now it's time to do my outdoor clean with me. As you can see, I have a little items out here in the backyard. Yes, I got some tiki lights that was probably blew down by the wind. Um, you know, I got the pool cover on the ground. Um, it's just a lot of stuff that's going on right now. So I'm really gonna show you guys how I like to clean the inside of my pool. And there's a little ring around my pool. What I like to do to try to just, you know, clean it up to my best of my ability. As you guys can see, the color of the pool, that shock really, really helped it out. So now it's the blue color that it needs to be. I'm gonna actually go around here and show you guys what type of pool pump that I um, use as well. So you'll be seeing this in the video, but as you can see, the pool, the pool is actually clear now. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on the inside of the pool and clean out some of those specks that you see at the bottom of the pool and also just straighten up the backyard. So let's go ahead and get started with the video.
Okay, question for you above ground pool owners out there. Tell me, what do you like to do with your pool? Do you like to cover it up every day? Do you cover it up at all? At first, when I first got my pool, I was using my pool cover, but now I don't use it as often as I should. And so typically, I do like to rinse it off because if I leave it outside and not take care of it like I'm supposed to, when it rains, it gets sticky and icky and all that kind of stuff. So now I'm just going to rinse it off. But let me know, do you, pull, do you cover up your pool every day or every so often? I really, really would like to know. So leave a comment below and let me know what you do if you own an above brown pool. All right, now we're on the inside of the pool. And typically all I'm doing is using like this pool net to catch any kind of like bugs or you know, extra leaves or anything like that. This is typically what I do. Now, honestly, you guys, I probably do this like every other day. I don't do it like every single day because I'm not out here every single day. But I do it like every other single day and especially like when I'm about to get in or something like that. But I really like doing this. <laughs> the funny thing about it, you guys, this is actually therapeutic for me. I really enjoy it. I don't know. It. Let me know if anybody out here likes doing this, but I really like doing this. And simply, I just, you know, take the, um, the net and just you know just flick off anything any kind of bugs or you know pine cones or leaves or anything like that and that's all I typically do in order to clean the top part of the pool out now at the bottom part of the pool I don't need to I need to invest in one of those I think they got pool vacs I said I'm gonna try and give me one next summer but typically I just take like the debris or anything at the bottom and I just take the net and just you know kind of like sway it through and it actually picks up a lot of stuff y'all this process really really works for me I enjoy it so if you guys are interested or if it's something that you want to do, this is a good trick in order to get some of that debris that settles at the bottom of your pool. All right, you guys, you'll actually see me talking, but I'm actually talking to my daughter. She's the camera person for me in this video. But I like to use baking soda to like clean the ring around the pool. Baking soda is a really, really good product to use in order to clean, and a lot of people use them for their pools. But simply, I'm just gonna take a towel and just go around the pool and clean off the surface. I'm also gonna use the baking soda to actually clean the ring around my um, chlorine tablet dispenser, so you'll see that later in the video. Now we're going to go ahead and clean the actual foot wash and what I'm going to be using is some palm olive dishwashing liquid. I'm just going to clean it out. The foot wash is pretty much used for when you get ready to get inside the pool just to rinse your feet off if you have any leaves or anything like that or dirt on your feet. It really helps from getting any kind of debris or anything like that inside the pool.
Now I'm simply just going to take my water hose and actually spray the outside liner of the pool. I did notice when I was cleaning the inside of the pool that using that pool net as I'm flicking off the bugs or any kind of pine trees and stuff like that, they actually are just sticking to the outside liner of the pool. So I'm just going to take my water hose and rinse this area off. All right, you guys, this concludes my outdoor clean with me pool clean video. I hope I was able to, you know, give you guys some cleaning motivation and also for you above ground pool owners. Also give you some ideas on how you like to clean your pool. And if you guys have any suggestions for me, please let me know. Leave comments down below and I will definitely, definitely look forward to it. I'm also going to show you guys my actual pool pump in this video. Um, the pool pump that I purchased is an index clean index intex I'm sorry it's an intex um, pool pump and I got the pool pump actually off of Amazon um, I think it was maybe about 200 bucks but I did get the pool pump off of Amazon and I absolutely love it because the actual pool pump that comes with these pools you guys they're not really really of high power or high quality but this is the actual pool pump that I got I really really love it it was quite affordable and it wasn't really easy to it wasn't hard to assemble it at all but I will um, just encourage you guys if you want to get one of these pumps and you want to keep the actual tubes um, that comes with the pool you will have to order some adapters but I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye you guys